just a bit, bits of news. I've noted down some news. The MOOC is is not um, not very secure financially at this time. Has to be said. Um, all the all the people who thought FutureLearn was taking up too much OU money, they may they may may be right. We don't know. See how things turn out. But um, to you, who paid, I think it was eight hundred million dollars for edX during the lockdown uh, the shares are, are under a dollar some days now um, what happened during the lockdown though we will come back to it if that speeded up some sort of transition maybe it'll come back again um, Coursera still sort of okay it's not back where it was but it, it, it hasn't uh, it's still still existing, Coursera, and we, we'll definitely check out Coursera, who are going to be at Learning Technologies and have some connection with um, the event in Exeter. And then the, the other bit of news is that Upgrad, who I'd never heard of before, Indian uh, ed learning, online learning company, they're going to acquire, well, they might, they might acquire Udacity and... They're talking about a hundred million dollars, whereas Udacity was at one point a unicorn. It was a, a, a billion, close to a billion dollars. So maybe, I mean, the first tweet that I, I retweeted was a tweet about um, the. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at my, my needles are gone. I think this is okay. Um, yeah, chi China. You, you, MOOC platforms in China came from Class Central. So if you if you miss that, look look for Class Central online somewhere, and uh, what they're reporting on. So it may be that India and China both need online learning and don't have a mass of campus buildings already. I don't know. They've got some, but if they're looking for where they're going to invest, maybe they're they're going to put more money into the MOOC. Well, whatever the MOOC becomes, whatever else happens.